What's going on, Fortnite fam? I'm super excited to bring you a player interview with none other than Wale. What's going on, my guy? Not much. Just chilling. How about you, man? Hey, doing good. Doing good. Super excited for this FNCS, of course. Uh, NA West, we're, we're doing it a little bit differently than we have in the past, but it's kind of cool because we get to do player interviews like this on the fly right before we're going actually into qualifier number two. What are you doing this uh, differently this time around here than you did in qualifier one? So what we didn't expect going into qualifier one was how stacked quarters were going to be. It was a bit overwhelming and we just kind of didn't take it as seriously as we should have. But session two, we came back a lot harder and, you know, actually tried to secure the qualify. And uh, yeah, we're ready for session or for round three. So. No. I'm going to be watching tonight to see how you guys do, of course, but I'm super excited to see or to know, I guess, more about you, right? Obviously, the community knows about you somewhat, but let's use this as a platform to just truly introduce who Wale is. So so tell me a little bit about yourself. When did you start playing Fortnite and uh, how did you get to this point here in your career? So I've been playing Fortnite since about ch chapter one, season three. I'm an OG. I'm 18 years old currently. So I've been playing pretty much throughout high school on and off. How I got to where I am right now is mostly due to my coach's help, Kataz. He's been a great help to me and uh, really helped me actually start to see some flaws in my gameplay that I hadn't before. And, you know, before that, I was really trying to improve with my just myself. And, you know, I got to places I wanted to get to, but I wasn't quite as successful. But hopefully in this coming season, I can really prove myself. Well, you've definitely improved. I feel like every season that I've watched since I joined the broadcast back in like chapter two, season seven, every season it was more about Wale. Wale did this, Wale did this. We saw incredible clutch moments from you, perform like just performance increases across the board. Obviously, you only continue to grow, right? And so that's why I was so super excited to invite you to do a player interview and be a part of this. Now, obviously, this is a team mode this e this year, right? It's all duos. Tell us a little bit about your duo. You're doing with Source, correct? Yeah, I'm doing with Source. And what's interesting about him is before I picked him up, he wasn't really a named player. He had pretty much no PR, didn't have any earnings, was kind of just a random player who would, you know, just play some scrims here and there and didn't really take competitive too seriously. So what... My coach mainly, Kataz, decided to do with me is help us. Like, we wanted to help train him, basically, to get him to the level he is today because we saw potential in him immediately from just, like, him getting coached by Kataz in the get-go. We saw that he had, like, a lot of potential. So we started, you know, investing in him. Investing in him. I started playing with him uh, a bunch even before we started doing. I started just teaching him general things, and then we're just trying him to get to the level we need him to be at. Hey, listen, that that's pretty cool. Taking taking Source kind of under your wing and, and, and bringing him to that promised land of success because it started, right? Obviously, this is a... While well, Qualifier 1 didn't necessarily go your way, Qualifier 2, 3, you're definitely going on past this, right? We know this. We've seen you time and time again make it to those semifinals, finals. All those showcases have happened. And this season is not going to be any different. Going into, obviously, your routine and, and how you got to this point, you talked a lot about having a coach. Did your coach kind of give you any kind of routines or habits that's helped you increase your performance? Uh, maybe something that new Fortnite players can kind of pick up on? Oh, for sure. Kataz has helped me heaps with, like, uh, loads of mental stuff as well as, you know, giving me a good aim routine and things to do when I get on. There were little, like, micro things I didn't realize I was doing wrong, like, you know, the amount of sleep I was getting, whether I was, you know, coming and off like if I was playing too much and overheating or doing certain things that like maybe the average player wouldn't see quite so because you know like my routine before was like I was playing like way more than I do now in terms of you know how much I was grinding but it turns out that it's not really how much you play it's more like what you do with the time you have when you play and it's just about efficiency and like you know what you actually get done instead of just like you know sitting in a creative for like three hours and just cranking. Yeah, I think it's more about what you do with your time, not necessarily how much time you spend. So that makes perfect sense. But honestly, that's super cool. I think a lot of people in the community need to learn that that having a coach and the value and and having that person there, kind of the outside perspective looking in is so crucial to improving season over season. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully more coaches will continue to rise to the, the scene. But Kataz, uh, honestly, one of those people, man, he is definitely uh, an up and comer in the scene as a coach, has a lot of experience creating top tier pro players like Wale here. So interesting to see how coaches continue to grow. But my last question for you has to do with the drop spot. 
Where are you dropping, and why do you enjoy it so much? Uh, me and Soros are going to be dropping the Coney Crossroads because, you know, as you probably know and the viewers, Epic Whale and Arit, uh, well, Epic and Arkram have left, and I think Arkram's slowly retiring. So as that door opens up, we're going to take full advantage of that and just secure the POI for the rest of the chapter if we can. And, uh, yeah, we're going to just hold it down in 12 out of 12. I like it. I like it. Coney Crossroads, the home of Wale and Soros. So thank you so much for hopping and doing a player interview with me me where can the people at home find you you can find me on twitter at uh wale1k youtube just wale and twitch uh wale1k as well so thank you appreciate you for having so